Syntax builds the form we see Semantics gives it meanings key Connectives link what minds devise Quantifiers range through truth and lies Modus potent strikes with might Modus tollens flips the fight Logic cuts clean, no shallow line Through the long night, reason shines The great Galileo had told us the book of nature is written in the language of mathematics. As a language, mathematics shares some common features with our natural languages. In both cases, they rely on syntax and semantics. The syntax concerns the structure of a sentence, how we arrange basic elements like letters, punctuation, and spacing to form well-constructed expressions. It ensures grammatical correctness. For example, consider the following sentence. A panda sleeps, eats bamboo. This sentence is syntactically flawed. It combines two verbs without connecting them using a conjunction like and. Here are a few more examples of flawed syntax. Implies square root 2 is irrational. What implies it? The premise is missing. An implication statement must have both a hypothesis and a conclusion. 2 is greater than. Greater than what? One side of the comparison is missing, so the statement is incomplete. When we write sentences in mathematics, we must pay attention to the syntax and ensure that the sentences use valid symbols and are structurally complete and correct. Syntactical correctness is not the end of the story. Consider Noam Chomsky's famous example, colourless green ideas sleep furiously. Although this sentence is syntactically valid, it fails semantically with contradiction and absurdity. Semantics concerns meaning. What interpretations can we assign to a sentence? In mathematics in particular, the interpretation must assign a truth value, either true or false, to a sentence. To this end, the sentences under our investigation must be declarative and unambiguous. Here are some more examples. Consider the following sentences. How many three-pointers does Victor Wembanyama make each game? This sentence does not bear a truth value because it is interrogative. Pass the basketball to Wembanyama. This sentence does not bear a truth value either because it is imperative. On the other hand, consider this declarative sentence. Wembanyama is tall. Still, we cannot definitively say whether the sentence is true or false, because the adjective tall lacks a precise standard in this context. He might be the tallest player in the NBA, but compared to the Eiffel Tower, he is not tall. It is now clear that we are interested in studying sentences that are both well-formed and capable of bearing a truth value. Such sentences, known as logical propositions, will be the focus of our next session. Shinla Tensei